will stand there and watch that show. I've never done it. I try to buy it because I'm on my way to the T-Mobile to make sure I don't miss the show, the big drama show, and then Canelo Alvarez tonight. Our next fight coming your way, a fighter who one day has dreams of being the main event in Las Vegas. That is Virgil Ortiz, 19 years old, out of Dallas, Texas, trained by Joel Diaz. He's taking on Cesar Valenzuela out of El Paso, now living in Phoenix, Arizona. That is Valenzuela, 31 year old, Raider 7 1. He's in here right now. He's a tough dude, too, by the way. You've seen this kid? Well, yeah, he took Alexis Rocha the distance, I believe, in his last fight. That says something, because Rocha, just like Ortiz, is a young power puncher, but Rocha, I think, is a lot bigger naturally than Ortiz. I think Rocha is a welterweight who, who will probably wind up at junior middleweight, whereas Virgil Ortiz. He is definitely a natural, at least the time being, junior welterweight. Coming into Vicente Fernandez, no me sé rajar. I don't back down from anybody, Dougie. Yeah, I mean, the glaring statistic here is, is age. Virgil Ortiz is, is still a teenager, 19 years old. He is the taller man by two inches, and he has a very, very slight reach advantage. Joe Martinez, our ring announcer, is ready. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our next fight tonight, six rounds. This scheduled in the super lightweight division. Your three judges scoring at ringside, Kermit Bayless, Max DeLuca, and Glenn Feldman. And when the action begins inside the ring, referee in charge, Hall of Famer, Robert Burr. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing white, trimmed in red and green, he weighed in officially 140 pounds even. In eight professional bouts, his record, seven victories, one defeat, two wins, coming by way of knockout, fighting out of and representing El Paso, Texas, here is Cesar Venezuela! And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black with gold, he also weighed in 140 pounds. In six professional bouts, he stands perfect. Six victories, no defeats, all six wins coming by way of knockout from Dallas, Texas. Here is the undefeated, hard-hitting, super lightweight, Virgil Ortiz! Gentlemen, you had your instructions in the dressing room. The only thing I'll remind you of now when I tell you stop, what that means is stop whatever you're doing, give me a clean break. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Gentlemen, let's do it. You're ready to go, Hall of Famer Robert Burr, third man in the ring, Virgil Ortiz, Caesar Valenzuela, ready to get going on the night of Kanadi Golovkin and Triple G. That fight can be ordered at ringtv.com. There you see 19-year-old Virgil Ortiz, Underway in this scrap. Virgil from Dallas, Texas. Trains in Indio, California. Coachella Valley, that's where his trainer, Joel Diaz, is at. Space, of course, Joel Diaz, you guys know the name. World champion Timothy Bradley was with him. Now training Lucas Matisse. A great stable that he has in the desert. And he is very high. And he doesn't praise anybody. No, you're right. He, I mean, he, he, when he when he says a young man has promise, that young man better be good. And he knows talent when he sees it. You know, he came from a fighting family himself. His brother Antonio also in the corner. What a pleasure it was watching Antonio Diaz fight. Let's talk about an all-action fighter. Joe was more of the boxer of the group, along with Julio. He was kind of like a boxer puncher. He was a good blend of the two styles. And Virgil Ortiz is a, is a blend of, of competent boxing and power punching. You mentioned his extensive amateur career. Definitely seen he's one of those amateurs who's better suited for the professional ranks. The manner in which his, not just the manner in which he fights, but his mentality. You can tell he wants to whack guys out of there. Stop, 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 record. stop, stop. Undefeated record with all knockouts, perfect. And sometimes I, I, I think he, he looks too hard for the knockout. I think he, sometimes I think he loads up a little bit too much. Sometimes I think he throws too many punches too early. 
he's, he's very busy in, in this opening round. Usually the first round, you're supposed to feel your opponent out, try to kind of assess your opponent's style, try to, try to seize control of the tempo without overextending yourself. And it looks like Ortiz just kind of wanted to come out here and make something sensational happen. No, 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 slip. slip. Get up. Valenzuela, 31 years old, El Paso, Texas. Wait for the sport for a few years. There's some blood from the right eyebrow of Valenzuela. And you see the, the punches that Ortiz throws with authority, with purpose, as we were talking about earlier. Yeah, they've begun to, to, to take effect. It could have been from a clash of heads. Maybe that's what produced that mark on the right side of his face. He's, he's pawing at it, but... Uh, Ortiz has landed a few shots high on the head of Valenzuela, and that can, that can make you feel dizzy, make your legs feel light. Body shot will make you feel light. Man, make you feel heavy. <laughs> so heavy you hit the canvas. <laughs> and that was another, that right, that right cross landed sort of on the temple. Final seconds of the opening round to a youngster in Virgil Ortiz, another body shot that moves away, Valenzuela. Strong round for the kid from... Hey, I want you to keep walking him down, right? Yeah. I want you to keep walking him down, but when he's yeah, he's leaning this way. He's leaning to your left. See, jab, left uppercut, boom, left hook. Okay. You're right. Yeah. See, you heard him twice already. If you really time him, that left. That, that, Ortiz comes right over the top with the right cross and lands right to the temple. May have momentarily uh, stunned him. Cesar Valenzuela, 7 to 1. From El Paso, Texas. Bethel Duran, Doug Fisher, working our way towards the main event tonight of Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin. Valenzuela, he did go the distance with Alexis Rocha. He's a 47. This is his first fight in almost three years. This is more of his natural weight that he wanted to fight at, a 140. So when he fought Lex, he had been away from boxing for three years, and he goes the distance with that monster? Yeah, and well, the last <laughs> this thing, is a tough cat. The last couple rounds, he's kind of kept his distance, too. Yeah. We worked out the blocks within in downtown Los Angeles. And you can see that Valenzuela trying to feel the effect of those body shots. Yes. Valenzuela is a part-time fighter. Right? A software engineer with a degree in what engineering up? from UTEP. Let him go. So Let him go. Oh, that was right to the solar body shot. Got him. Two, three, three. You saw that four, right away, Doug. And woo. Five, six. Takes your win. Down. Seven. Eight, you good? Yes, go. sir. Yes, sir. Virgil Ortiz, 6 and 0. Oh. Grand Prairie, go. Texas, go for alum. Ran cross country there. <laughs> Valenzuela <laughs> handled that knockout. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, that got him good. It was, it was to the solar plexus Three. again, that left. Four. I don't know if he's getting up from this one, Doug. Five. I don't think got him. I don't Six. think he's done. He said it. He's, Seven. He's done. Eight. He's done. You got to know when you're done. And Virgil Ortiz, a kid who doesn't talk much. He stays in his room and he's teaching himself how to play the guitar and the keyboard. And right now, his grandma Francis and Mela and everybody back in Grand Prairie, Texas, your kid is now 7 0 with seven KOs. A career that started with Gene at the Rivera Boxing Gym is now having this kid in Las Vegas looking stunning for Golden Boy Promotion. Well, this 19 year old introvert has a very promising future. He is just fun to watch because he's so busy and every punch is so hard, but his punch selection, it's the right punch. It's, he's deadly he accurate. And I was about to say that uh, Valenzuela handled that first knockdown well because he took his time getting up, but the second one, he knew when to stay down. That was a short left. Probably traveled six inches right to the solar plexus, right between the rib cages, right to the heart, right to the, the sternum area. And that takes all your wings. Here's another angle. Boom! Beautiful leverage. I'd rather keep it like that. And he was kind of holding a little bit. Ortiz won't let that happen, though. He won't let you tie him up. 
that was the first knockdown. He went down, spat that map out. Or maybe that was the second knockdown. I mean, it was the first knockdown. He went down. He first thought about body. it. The second one was the uppercut. Right. Good, young man. The second good. Knockdown. Good. The see, that's a, I, think, I think it was to the chest. I don't think it was to the jaw, but we'll see again. Boom. Yeah. It was a left, hey, left good. to the chest again. A left to the chest. And then he spat it out, tried to catch it to say, hey, man, I'm done. Let's watch. It was both. Yeah. It was a left to the chest and then a right to the to the chin. Double whammy. And at once, Valenzuela knew that he had had enough. Yeah, that replay. Whew. 19 years old. 7-0, seven, seven knockouts. 7-0, seven, seven KOs. And Joe Martinez, our ring announcer. Let's go, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Well, one minute, 22 seconds. Round number two, Let's referee go. Robert oh, Bird puts a halt to the bout. We have your winner by TKO victory and seven straight victories, seven straight knockouts. He is still undefeated, Virgil. Such a variety of power punches as well. Yeah, and it's not like, you know, Valenzuela Round knew when he was defeated. And he even told Robert Bird, I'm done, as he was counting hit. <laughs> because he took the shot to solar plex, which a lot of guys would have stayed down from. Right. Then he got hit in the chest again, and then the uppercut that finished it. I mean, I give Valenzuela a lot of credit. I mentioned he's a part-time fighter, but to even just take this fight, because right. a lot of guys, Roberto Diaz was telling me, is having trouble finding Jorge Ortiz opponents that can give him good work. I can People see why. can't give him opportunities. There you see him. I can see why opponents avoid him. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I can see why it's difficult to give him quality rounds.